Welcome to Biology for Chemical Engineers. This course covers the intersection of biology and chemical engineering, focusing on biochemistry and microbiology. These topics are crucial in industries like pharmaceuticals, biofuels, and food processing. This chapter explores biochemistry, cell biology, and microbiology, focusing on how biological principles apply to chemical engineering. Applications include fermentation and enzyme reactions in various industries. Biochemistry studies chemical processes within living organisms, focusing on metabolism, enzymes, and biomolecules like proteins and carbohydrates. Its applications range from drug development to biofuels production. Metabolism includes anabolism, which builds complex molecules like proteins and DNA, and catabolism, where molecules like glucose are broken down to release energy. ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, plays a key role in transferring energy within cells. Enzymes are biological catalysts that speed up reactions by lowering the activation energy. The Michaelis-Menten equation, which is V equals V max times substrate concentration divided by Km plus substrate concentration, describes how the reaction rate depends on substrate concentration. Reaction rates are also influenced by factors such as temperature and pH. Enzymes play key roles in bioprocessing, including fermentation, drug production, and environmental applications like waste treatment. They are also used in the food industry, especially for dairy and baking processes. Cell biology studies the structure and function of cells, including prokaryotic and eukaryotic types. Cell processes like metabolism, respiration, and nutrient transport including diffusion, osmosis, and active transport are vital for energy production and cellular function. Cellular respiration converts glucose into energy in the form of ATP. It includes three main stages, glycolysis, where glucose is broken down, the Krebs cycle, which produces energy carriers, and the electron transport chain, which generates ATP. Aerobic respiration requires oxygen, while anaerobic respiration occurs without it. Microbiology involves the study of microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, and viruses. These organisms are important in industrial applications like fermentation and bioremediation, where microbes produce biofuels or clean up environmental pollutants. Fermentation is an anaerobic process where microbes like yeast or lactic acid bacteria convert sugars into alcohols or acids. It's widely used in alcohol production, biofuel creation, and the food industry for products like yogurt and cheese. Genetic engineering allows DNA modification to create genetically modified organisms. It's widely used in chemical engineering to produce biopharmaceuticals like insulin and vaccines and to develop custom industrial enzymes. However, ethical concerns, including the safety and environmental impact of GMOs, are an ongoing debate. DNA stores genetic information in the form of a double helix structure. Protein synthesis involves two steps, transcription, where DNA is copied into mRNA, and translation, where mRNA is used by ribosomes to produce proteins. Bioreactors are large-scale vessels used for biological reactions, such as fermentation. They are essential for producing antibiotics, vaccines, and biofuels. Agitation and sensors help maintain the ideal conditions for these reactions by monitoring pH, temperature, and oxygen levels. Scaling up bioprocesses from lab to industrial production involves challenges like maintaining consistency and avoiding contamination. Examples include industrial-scale fermentation for ethanol and antibiotic production, and large-scale bioremediation for environmental cleanup. By understanding biochemistry, cell biology, microbiology, and their industrial applications, you're well prepared to integrate biology into chemical engineering processes. Thank you for watching.